I like to see people thrive. I like to see people live. How is that affecting you? I love to see them blossom and grow. And how long has this been affecting you? John, my uncle, was my hero. When you wanted to find one of us, you look for the other one. We were like best buddies. He presented such a warm and charismatic, friendly figure. But underneath that, there was so much turmoil that at an early age, in his mid-twenties, out of nowhere, he took his own life. The complete cutoff from that joy of being around him, that broke me. Something in my childlike brain decided it was my fault. So for years and years afterwards, I tried to process the shame, the guilt, couldn't do it. It wasn't until I met a wonderful man who taught neuro-linguistic programming, NLP. He helped me get to the root of these horrible feelings and release them. NLP is very simply, how do we communicate with the brain to release emotional triggers and feel safe and confident? So I studied with this gentleman, my prof, I became a practitioner, master practitioner, and then a trainer of NLP. And then I started to use these tools with other people. Started to use them with skiers. One woman I worked with became a double world champion. The next athlete I worked with became an Olympic athlete. These bright, beautiful human beings were fulfilling their potential. I was helping them to get results, specific and measured results. One day, I got a call from a wonderful man, Coach Guy Charon. After we met, she had made such an impact on me. I said, Izzy, if you can help the way you've helped me in one hour, I know you can help some of our players. And within the hockey world, during the early stages, I was in an environment that was alien to me as much as I was alien to them. But over time, I gained trust. I gained friendship. And the year that I worked with them, they did so well that I was invited to work with them again. But as I was working with them, I find myself repeating the same information. So instead of having to do that, I put the information into a book called Hockey Confidence. The book has become a bestseller in Canada. I was so surprised. Next thing I know, I start getting calls from players and agents from the NHL, but also leaders in the financial world, public servants, CEOs, opportunities that have come from places I'd never expect. I had the honor of serving as visiting professor. Thanks to people that have helped me, I've got to a place where each day I feel fulfillment. I feel it's so important. Every single person deserves to have peace of mind. And I feel that in my own way, each time I help somebody, I help my Uncle John a little bit too. <laughs>